Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got Stacy out and <laughs> we're going to do some nails on her today and we are going to be featuring some amazing products. Here are two of the products I'll be using to actually create the nails but today in particular I'll be testing out the Melody Susie nail dust collector. I have not had one before and I was actually quite curious to try one so I'm really excited to give this one today a go and I must say straight off the bat I am very happy with it as you can see with the tint I've already tried it out off camera giving it a little go and it's amazing so here is what it looks like you get three buttons you get kind of like the off button and then you get a semi quick suction and a very quick suction um if, of course with the noise as well if you click the more stronger feature it will be a slightly louder um, when it comes to around the product, there isn't much other than the sticker at the bottom and then the little hole to plug in your cable. And then at the top, you get two little latches where you can just take off the front little bit there, which is cute. As you can see, it's just a piece of plastic to protect the filter inside. And then inside is the filter that does all of the job, or at least half of the job. <laughs> and this is where it collects all, your, all of your nail dust. As you can see, it's already tinted this kind of purpley ready color. So that's the color I had on me before. So I wanted to give it a go to see if I'm liking it. Any like pluses or minuses that I might come across to let you guys know. But I've had absolutely no issues. I'll show you there just a second ago um, once it has the dust you can just tap it out once you're done and it just comes straight out and it's good to use again and inside you get this little spinny thing which is actually kind of the fan which is quite interesting I haven't seen a nail dust collector that has a fan like that so that's quite interesting to see and as you saw there as well there was absolutely no dust particles in there because that filter there does an amazing job literally an amazing job so we'll be trying it out a little bit today and of course, going forwards, I will be using it all the time. So you are not going to see, to basically see the, this product for the last time. You will see this all the time. It's literally great. I love it. Especially now as I'm going more into kind of doing people's nails um, and my little <laughs> red iguana hand there too. You'll be seeing it more and more often. So for a change today, I thought, let me try out some builder gel kind of nail design, which I actually am quite new to builder gels and all of that stuff. You all know me. I'm a massive nail art holic <laughs> I like to call myself and um, I don't always actually full-on build nails so I thought let me give it a challenge let me try it out as you can see there I'm just putting on my tips and now I'm using a file to file away where the tip and the apparent natural nail meet so you want that to be very nicely flushed with the nail before we start applying our products and with the products today I'm actually using some Vanillisa Builder Gel so I've got both of them actually on no I got the big one from Amazon and then the little one I've actually had for years like years and it's in the little pot I don't even know if you can get them in those little pots anymore because when I ordered from Amazon I was expecting that kind of pot and then it came in this massive container which I was so shocked about um so yeah so we've got two we've got a clear today and we've got that very nice pinky nude which is gorgeous I love that color so much I actually used that to build up my nails just a few weeks ago and it literally stayed on for four weeks it probably could have stayed on longer but I was just kind of not feeling it I needed it off <laughs> needed it off quick so I'm just going to carry on getting rid of that little layer there just so you all know as well this is I'm kind of like a newbie to builder gel so if there's anything I'm doing wrong feel free to let me know in the comments because I do want to get better if there's any even like tips and tricks that you can recommend me if there's anything you were looking at me doing going oh girl <laughs> I wouldn't do it that way <laughs> let me know in the comments because I would absolutely love to read them and just get better at um, actually building up nails and getting into that side of things. I'm also trying to figure out the filming side of things. It was quite difficult for me to film. I couldn't kind of find an area where to actually stick my red iguana hand down and all of that stuff. So it's a little bit of a um, I just need to work on it basically so hopefully um, the more I do these the more I kind of get the gist of what I'm doing how I'm going to film it. It was a bit of a tricky video today but it had to be done because I needed to file something to try out this notice collector so I had to try something else so I'm going to do these Christmassy nails which are pretty so what I did was applied a base coat layer and using that base coat I'm going to kind of use it as a stick layer for my glitter and here I have some glitter it's mainly fairly bigger hex chunks and very tiny little ones in there but not too much of them are actually in them as you can see my hand 
was having issues. <laughs> I could just could not make it stay where I wanted it. Um, but yeah, so I'm using just any brush really. I picked up one of my Madame Glam brushes and I'm just going to pick them up and scatter them across the full index nail. The, yeah, the pointer finger or index nail. I think it depends where you live and <laughs> what it's called, I think. And then um, I'm also going to do the same on the ring finger, but only on the bottom half of the nail because we're going to do a bit of like an ombre thing going on with some glitter. So I'll be doing that on both of those. And then I will go ahead and cure um, the nails. And off camera, I did go ahead and apply another layer of base coat only on the two nails that have the glitter this time. And I applied more glitter on top. I really wanted it to be a concentrated glitter nail. And for some reason, I wasn't kind of achieving that with just the first layer. As you can see, it was fairly gappy. And the more I tried to apply the more they all started moving about and not going where I wanted it and I was trying to place them down but there was kind of no area for it to stick no more so I thought it would be safer to cure the nails apply another base layer and then we'll use that as a glue again and then we can start building up our nails so I'll, I'll do that off camera so you see in a second <laughs> with me with the hand and the glitter is a bit more concentrated on the nail and it covers up the little gaps a lot better there we are so now it's time to build the nails. So what I'm going to do is using actually one of my Madame Glam, Glam brushes. And maybe this is the um, application brush. I can't remember off the top of my head which brush it is. But I'll have everything linked in the description for you all to have a look. And I'm just going to apply it like a slip layer. Like a very thin, like a base layer across the nails. Of course with the glitter nail that's kind of half done. <laughs> We're only going to apply it to the top half of the nail. And then later we'll apply a clear le um, layer of builder gel on the bottom part so that we don't cover up the glitter too much with that pink builder gel. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer. And we're also going to skip the full glitter nail because once again we're going to do a full clear nail, uh, nail on that one. And I believe I did that on camera in the end, but it was just just identical to what we're doing with the pink. And I just felt like with the pink builder joke, you can actually see what I'm doing. So it's probably better to leave that bit in the video. So now that I've got my kind of like a slip layer, base layer down, that's when you want to pick up a huge bead. Well, huge, depending on how big your nail beds that you're working on are. So what I like to do personally is I like to kind of work in circular motions i've seen people go from side to side what i like to do is kind of circle my brush from side to side and just move the product downwards that's my kind of preferred method i have tried the side to side method isn't working for me as much maybe specifically with this product or what it is and then the closer you're getting to the end you want to kind of brush it down a little bit because of course you don't want the tip to be too thick you want to make sure that majority of that product is concentrated at the top as you can see my application isn't incredibly flawless there will be filing to do which is fine but I'm hoping over time there'll be less and less filing I get the hang of building up nails and kind of working with the products and hopefully watching my videos will be a bit more enjoyable <laughs> rather than watching this and going oh I don't I'm not quite sure <laughs> if what you're doing is correct but there we are we are doing the ring finger now so with this i'm trying to keep majority of it at the top actually the, the moment you get into the glitter you kind of want to really fade it down and brush it down to kind of blend it into the glitter and i found working with this product actually to be incredibly enjoyable and wherever i place the product it seems to really stay where i want it which is amazing especially for beginners if you are a beginner it literally just stays where you want it i you know of course there's <laughs> it might move a little bit there isn't like a full-on stays in place but i just find that very easy to work with as you can see there me deciding to build up that nail even more it was just really easy to kind of connect the two beads together into the nail and then just drag it down and do what it basically just did what i wanted to do i was just guiding it and it was doing all the work work for me which is absolutely amazing like i said i'll have everything linked in the description so you want to repeat that once more onto the pinky finger and then i will go ahead and off camera finish up the bottom of that half glitter nail and then the full glitter nail i will in the meantime though cure the nail first because i don't want to mix the two colors together when it comes to the half glitter and half knot and then once it's cured i'll go ahead with the clear apply that and then cure again so once we're done with that i will go ahead and wipe the nails down with some nail prep liquid cleaner stuff because it leaves a tacky layer and i don't want to get my files all gunked up so i'm just going to wipe them 
and um, I'm not too familiar with filing on this red iguana hand and it was expensive so I didn't really want to ruin it just yet so I do end up taking them out and filing them on top of my Melody Susie nail file collector um nail file nail <laughs> dust collector literally amazing literally I'm so happy with it I couldn't express how happy I am with that I'll have a link in the description if you're looking for a new one or you're looking into getting into nails you need to get a nail file dust collector it's a game changer and I didn't notice how much I needed one until I got one really I mean maybe not until I started filing <laughs> is when I noticed I ended up just being poof everywhere foul dusty stuff everywhere it was ridiculous and it was just me doing it on my hand recently and I was like oh my goodness I didn't notice how much I needed one so literally get one it's a game changer you have such a more clean environment and of course if you're doing it for clients you don't really want dust everywhere and particularly when you're doing clients or anything really if you need to file you don't want the dust getting into your products into your brushes just around you into your computer <laughs> all of that jazz because especially me I work very close to my computer and I don't really want the dust and all of that bad stuff getting into the actual computer and then breaking the computer <laughs> so I ended up just showing you me doing the one nail it's a very time consuming process the filing so I just um, wanted to show you guys me doing the one and then I will finish up and show you guys what they look like once they're all filed and then we'll start working on our nail art design so here they are I've applied some base coat on the one nail because that's where I want some snowflakes and I wanted to stamp them and I wanted a tacky layer so that the snowflake can actually stick on so I did apply a base coat and cured it so I'm going to stamp a fairly chunky snowflake top right hand side of that nail and for some reason that little corner didn't want to transfer I tried to re redo it but it just didn't work but it's fine it's fine later on you can't even tell that it's there and then I decided to place a slightly smaller one a bit low on the left hand side and that was me done for that nail and the stamping. I just strictly wanted to keep it to this one nail. Um, especially as it's my first builder gel now. I was trying to keep it fairly simple. The main focus is around um, the glitter really and the little stamping. And actually we do apply some crystals. So that will bring up the nail to a little nice design. So once I'm happy with the stamping and I just cleaned up my little plate which I was using some acetone and I was using my clear jelly stamper, clear jelly stamper scraper and my clear jelly stamper plate. So everything from that company when it comes to stamping. And now it's time to top coat these. And I'm actually going to use a glossy top coat today, which you'll be, I'm sure, very happy to hear. <laughs> I've been using that top coat so often recently. As soon as Christmas hit, it was just straight, um, you know, straight uh, matte top coats. So a little change there. And you want to apply it across all of those beautiful nails. And for now, you can see that, of course, the nails look a bit scratched up um not too nice but the moment you apply your top coat look at the magic it just literally starts to brighten them up starts to really show the color especially on the glitter nails i think it looks so cool when you start applying the top coat it's like the best part i love watching people do nails and apply the top coat it's literally the best <laughs> Alright, so once you go ahead and cure the nails, it's time to apply some crystals. So I'm using some of my Vanilliza, not Vanilliza, <laughs> McCart Rhinestone Glue Gel. And then I've got some crystals, so I've placed them on the centre of the two snowflakes that we've done. And then on that full, was it, I think it's the middle finger, the full clear pink nail that we've got going on on the middle finger. We're going to do a little bit of a crystal placement using some red crystals. So here's my little container. I had this one forever and I've been dying to use some of the red. And these crystals are so pretty. Like, so pretty. If I can find the link for the, to these, I will make sure to leave that. Because they're incredibly pretty. And I really feel like the camera isn't doing it justice. Because in person, trust me, these are gorgeous. They're so sparkly. I've never had or seen red crystals like these before. So do make sure you grab them if i don't find them in that container there is a company that i get my crystals from aliexpress and they do offer 
very pretty red crystals too that I actually buy going forwards now but this little container there is really fun because it does offer those different shapes and sizes in there which is fun so um, in case you wanted to full on recreate this design you'd want to have the different sizes the hearts and the little tear droplets and all of that stuff but um, if you're not too fussed on that I do have a great kind of AliExpress crystal seller that offers beautiful crystals I literally talk about them and I try to leave them in the description whenever I can they're literally amazing so once you're happy you want to pop them into the lamp and then we can do the final results in three two one and here are the final results it's a super simple nail design but in person amazing it's so cute the glitters are beautiful and those crystals are so sparkly I really wish you guys could see them in person and um, I think here I was trying to um, show you that <laughs> I did end up doing a different nail off camera after finishing it up because I was like, it is a bit too bare for me. So this is what I did off camera. It's super easy. If you wanted to just stop at the video right here and kind of copy the nail design, feel free to. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll have all the links in the description, especially the Melody Susie Nail Dust Collector. Do give them a little go. They're beautiful. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I would love to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.